Good morning. Good morning, sir. Yeah. Good morning, sir. Yeah, yeah. Happy Vijay Dashmi festival for everyone. Okay. Thank you, sir. Same to you. Thank you, ma. Thank you. Now back here. Uh, back with an IoT class. In our last class, we are discussing on a data management. Uh, so, how? What is the importance of an app uh, data management and especially a data? Uh, today, the entire, almost all I can tell your entire software section um, is depending on this particular data. And everyone, uh, you also know as a fifth and students, what is the importance of data science? How many degrees are coming in, uh, especially data science and all in uh, the many universities also you can see. Then uh, the data management, what is the importance? Then automatically you must know that. In a yesterday class, we started with the introduction part of an data management. And in that, we have seen how many types of data will be there, different data, especially concerned with our uh, um, uh, thing that is an IoT project. Uh, so the big data, heterogeneous data, uh, some of that, and um, uh, the proprietary data and uh, spatial data, different types of data which we had discussed and how that data uh, will be taken into the consideration starting from data uh, means collection of an, a data uh, and then uh, we have moved further. So I'll share my PPT again. We'll start with our today's class. Just a minute. Yeah. Now, okay. Now, in the last class, as I told you that uh, we have taken uh, uh, this particular thing that uh, manage. Sorry, manage. Yeah, introduction. In this introduction, we have seen uh, what are the different types of uh, data will be there, like big data, heterogeneous data, and uh, real world uh, uh, data, real time data, spatial data polymorphic data and proprietary data, security and uh, privacy data. Like that we had discussed. Uh, and then another one important thing, managing a uh, M2M uh, data, how we have to manage uh, starting from uh, this particular uh, uh, sensor uh, uh, issues. Just a minute. Yeah, uh, starting from the sensors uh, device uh, uh, layers, uh, from that particular point and data processing network units will be there. Uh, so through that, uh, how the information stream adoptions will be done. Later on, uh, we are we have, uh, finally, uh, what is our business uh, evaluation? Finally, what is the output we need, uh, whether we reached our goal, starting from a uh, sensor uh, uh, networks. That is the one which we had uh, discussed uh, in the last class and we have this is the data processing network units will depending on uh, our different stages that also I told you that uh, for example the first stage what will be there when it's connected to the sensors and the, um, uh, the actuators and all uh, which required data is there yes this is the data required for me and grouping out of the data segregating the data filtering the data and aggregating the data means connecting a data with other data and clustering a data means groups we are creating different different things will be there the best example you can take the air pollution monitoring and the students who are doing this air pollution monitoring in that uh, they are going to uh, evaluate uh, six parameters and that is alcohol maybe some methane or alpg cng and uh, carbon uh, prints and uh, temperature like that so once the sensor, what it will do, we will put the different sensors there and it will evaluate and it will send. Which sensor data it is, where we should put other side. This sensor data, you should put this side. So bifurcating that, we need some code to write here. Uh, so after doing all that particular things and all, finally what we are going to do, we will store that particular data. Where we are going to store that data, means in a cloud, we are going to store that particular data. Otherwise, uh, how we are uh, representing that data in a separate um, application server, our own server, 
So like this, we'll decide and we'll transfer our data to one particular state with different databases. As I told you that uh, each database will have its own. For example, carbon monoxide, it has to store. So um, the, the value should go to only that particular field from this data processing network unit. In a cloud, we'll have elaborated data. Coming to next, what's the next data processing which we'll do in a network? From a cloud, I'll create an app, and for an app, what type of a data is needed? Uh, sorry. Now, what type of a data is needed uh, based on uh, the application or based on a user? What, according to us, uh, final output we need? Like that, we'll go with an enterprise services. Now, in uh, this, we have discussed coming to the next class now, the data generation. So from here, we have to start. Um, so these are the things which are there. The data generation is our first stage within which data is generated actively or passively from the device system. This is very much important. Underline these two words. What do you mean by this actively or passively uh, data generated? Uh, for example, I will tell uh, with something happens, uh, uh, the event, then we are collecting that particular data. So that's a passive. Actively data means anytime we are keep on collecting a data, soil moisture level. Any time we should keep on collecting a data, and uh, like that, uh, based on that, we will do that. So, what when fire occurs, then only our sensor should activate. That will depends on application what we are going to use. The sampling of data generation depends on a device and its capabilities. So, uh, the sampling also. What I, this is the data which we required. Yes, this is required for us. Not all the data required may actually be communicated as some of them may be accessed locally and subsequently discarded, while only the result of the assessment may be communicated. For example, I will tell you, always we don't take any data of um, each and every data. Which data we need according to our thresholds, uh, um, only that particular data, the required data only we will take uh, and remaining data we will leave always. Data acquisition, this is another one important uh, stage in a data management. The data acquisition uh, uh, systems usually communicate with uh, uh, distributed devices over a wide or a wireless uh, links to acquire the needed data and need to um, respect uh, security protocol and apl application requirements. So the data acquisition systems usually communicate with distributed devices. What is this distributed devices? I have kept uh, somewhere, means different, different uh, devices, my notes, boards, whatever will be there, I have kept and I should collect data from that. What, how I am collecting a data, either wired or wireless, whatever may be the thing, uh, which the things I have used. So from that, I am collecting to one particular um, database, maybe somewhere like that. The nature of acquisition varies, say, example, it could be continuous monitoring, yeah, continuous monitoring should be done uh, uh, in many cases, in, um, uh, in our uh, projects examples only, if you take uh, many, many are there, uh, you also know how your project will be there. Uh, continuous monitoring your sensor should do, what is that continuous monitoring, moisture level, or sensor, or you can go with the um, other um, uh, projects which are there, um, that is uh, the temperature, and then you go with uh, the gas leakage, something like that. Uh, so interval pole will be there. What is the interval pole will be there? Gas leakage will come, sorry, gas leakage will come in a event based. And interval pole, every half an interval, I will collect some information from a sensor. That is every 15 minutes once I will collect, uh, and every 20 minutes once I will collect. Uh, so like this, uh, it will be there. The frequency of data acquisition uh, overwhelmingly depends on how it is customized by the application requirements. As our application is needed, uh, um, as our application is needed, uh, according to that, we are collecting the information. The data acquired at this stage, whatever a data acquired at this particular stage may also differ from the data actually generated. Okay, so yeah, uh, see what uh, I require some particular type of an data and uh, um, other data may be uh, coming. So maybe it depends, it depends. Why? Because always we are, we are keep, keeping our sensors uh, uh, in a just a moment.
Yeah, the, um, back here to, with Alessa. Uh, the data acquired at this particular stage, uh, so non closed or uh, local control loops may also differ from the data actually generated. In simple scenarios, due to the customizer filters deployed at a device and a fraction of generated data, adhering to the time of interest or uh, um, over a threshold may be communicated. So this, um, it may, it may, based on a scenarios or based on a customized levels, we must display some filters also. Without a filters, uh, uh, this data is not needed. Continuously, this data is coming and, uh, and uh, uh, coming to our uh, device and we are taking that into the consideration. So that shouldn't be done. So we should put some filters. So additionally, in more sophisticated um, uh, scenarios, data aggregation and even on uh, device computation of a data may result in communication of key performance indicators of interest to the application, which are calculated based on a device own intelligence and uh, capabilities. So what I will do as a developer, I will write in a program and I will see whatever a data coming from a sensor, I will put some if conditions or some conditions I will put that, and I will check whether this Particular data is so and so, and within this particular thing, just I need that particular data. Otherwise, I don't need that particular data. I'm just I discard that data. This type of things can also be done with data aggregation. We are going to do. Um, coming to the next step, but the very important thing is the next one is the data validation. That is, data acquired must be checked for a correctness and a meaningfulness within the specific operated context. This is this is very 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 important stage. But every student or every project maker in academics they will forget about this. Whatever may be the project, I mean, I mean, with a web-based project or whatever the project you are doing, um, almost all students uh, what they will do, no, this part of the thing almost all they will neglect the data validation. What always concentration will be there, the data input is coming and data acquisition I am doing and uh, I am with that data, I am doing some my data process. After doing that, I am displaying output. Always uh, the student concentration will be on this particular thing, but the data validation, which is, you know, that is damn important where uh, companies will give you more importance on this particular thing, especially not even a company, I am telling, validating your why because uh, the data usage you are not using you are not a person who is uh, um, using that particular project you are doing a project for other person who doesn't have a knowledge on this particular project so how can you expect here uh, the user to always he will enter in a correct data uh, and he will give a legitimate input no never why because maybe he is illiterate about our project so if sometimes if he enters a wrong data and all no whether you are validating that and all not if you are not validating definitely yeah, what however you did your project definitely you won't get an output why because in algorithms also we have told you very clearly that if you give a legitimate input and if you process the instruction by instruction and you are going to get a desired output. The legitimate input is very much important. So as a developers, now at this particular stage, if you are there at a final semester stage and all, imagine when you go to the company and all this validations you are not did correctly. You may tell I did this particular project and that project, this project and all. So that is the leading thing. Now data validation in era of M to M coming to our projects, where the acquired data may not conform to the expectations. So what data have um, expected, that data is not coming from a sensor. Maybe wrong, sensor is not working correctly, or sensor may giving a wrong data. Use uh, is a must as the data may be intentionally or unintentionally corrupted during the trans transmission alerted or not make sense in the business context. So 100%, if uh, uh, whatever my uh, uh, my thing is there, how can I believe that either my sensor is working or not? Assume um, the master level sensor I will keep, uh, even though weight is there, always it will give a dry values. Due to some uh, electrodes in that particular sensor has been gone. Always it will give a weight time, assume. Now, okay, in a controversy, you can think like that. What you will think you are operating remotely, uh, you, are, you, sold, assume you have sold that project to a 
farmer also uh, so what a farmer thinks uh, yeah no notification to me that uh, your um, uh, thing is dry means the leaves trees sorry plants are dry uh, so it doesn't uh, you never switch on the motors and motor will never switch on what about the condition of a plant that is damn important thing uh, the life of a plant will be there consider the n number of uh, projects like that uh, either fire uh, um, uh, egg, uh, fire existence means what you have told that fire uh, um, uh, thing means uh, naina and uh, surya they are doing so the even the fire extinguishing things also uh, it, it all related with the life uh, accident project so all these things uh, are related with an life and uh, uh, these things is there so it it can make a lot of loss so that especially what i will tell you know, in other web projects and all if wrong data is there maybe you will get a wrong output and later on you can manipulate and you can do something like that on testing basis but in this particular situation when you were deployed your iot projects how sensible you must be as a real world process depend on a valid data to draw the business relevant decisions this is a key stage which sometimes does not receive as much attention as it should this is very much important that's why i'm pressing and telling in a real world process validate data is very very much important to take a decisions any business relevant decisions if your data itself is not correct what is the value to your decision what you have taken that is why uh, that is where your decision will fail once the decision will uh, uh, fail especially in the marketing sectors digital marketing today it's ruling the world um, uh, what i can say like this the uh, the what is instead of the production the marketing and distribution plays a very very much important role uh, the way of digital marketing especially in golden days and all marketing is somewhat like this uh, a sales person will be there they will go to the retailers they will go to the uh, that store keepers they will they would have told uh, uh, you sell our product like this and all putting some banners and all that uh, tv advertisements that but today it's not a trend like that why because today the social media no how much it has been influencing on us so how we should compete with the e-commerce websites or an apps which are out there like amazon and uh, uh, some uh, um, other flip cart like that how we can do a business so how we should do a marketing in that digital marketing okay um how i need the feedback of a service of a customers and how customers are relevant with our goods and the products after advertising sorry <coughs> you have to see all this particular uh, things also so that is an very very much important based on that you will take a decision how to promote our product coming to the next point that is several known methods are deployed for consistency and data type checking for example imposed range limits or the <coughs> values required logic checks uniqueness correct time stamping etc now imagine that uh, several uh, deployed consistency will be there this type of a data i will check the data either data is like uh, this particular type of a data yes it is correct otherwise the data is not like this i don't consider this particular how i can uh, make that always there should be a range on a uh, limit for example as you uh, one example i will give you moisture level um, uh, sensor only i will take taking a moisture level sensor always uh, in a dry level also it never goes to zero in some stages always it will be like some uh, uh, 35 40 to one range and it will goes up to 1000 2000 range some range it will be there and always a fluctuation will be there only in some particular region if it is not working like that there may be some problem with the sensor like that in addition semantics may uh, play an uh, increasing uh, role here as the same data may have different meanings in various operating uh, concepts 100% it is 100% why i will put on a semantics 
what is the semantics some rules i will put if data is there in this particular range to this range this is this data and this data is there in this range to this range i will consider this data for other purpose and that range is crossed and i will consider for other purpose maybe my project is like that i'm uh, validating my data based on a different different range of uh, values for that uh, i'll maintain some semantics for that or some rules next uh, failure to validate may result in uh, security breaches this is this is damn damn very important tampered with the data uh, data fed to an application is, uh, is a well known security risk as its effects may lead to attacks on other services um privilege uh, exhalations denial of services database corruption etc um uh, as we have witnessed on the internet over the last decades many many are there like that uh wave the failures will occur even you can do the um, take any spaceships also how many spaceships are filed uh, how many for example uh, ours only if you take uh, uh, chandrayaan has filed um uh, we have it's correct until that uh, near part of moon um, where our isro has did it's gone and later on we doesn't have a touch with that particular equipment there uh we doesn't know whether that equipment is uh, landed it doesn't landed either we can open once the connection has been cut uh, uh in a such such an off place uh what are maybe the thing maybe either it's existing also it doesn't not means it doesn't uh, solve our purpose so that is an important uh, uh, things many many examples are there uh, if you consider in, uh, things like that where failures has been occurred uh, and uh, entire uh, uh, the system has been uh, filed with the lack of an uh, um uh, validations uh, that is uh, a wrong input has been taken and many security breaches has been occurred as full utilization of this uh, step may require a, a significant computational resources it may be adequately tackled at the network level so how you should tackle the significantly computational resources in whatever is there uh, you should take that and computational resources where i should keep i should keep in a network level means uh, before sending to the network first i should evaluate that yes uh, this data is so and so data what i need and all uh, but maybe a challenging in a direct uh, m to m interactions example between two resource constrained uh, machines communicating directly with each other so that is the one uh, um, uh, thing which you should be known in a data validations next point is on a data process now here uh, how uh, after okay validate i did everything i did now data is ready with me and I, if the data has been stored in a stream of a data either in a cloud or in a um, server uh, somewhere like that uh, now data processing enables working with the data that is either at a Uh, rest already stored data like in a cloud database somewhere is in motion that is a stream of data continuously data is coming i should evaluate in a continuous process so that this can also be uh, done uh, so how do you have, can do this is to i have shown you in a thing speak um, cloud um, that uh, the data will be continuously coming from a servers you there only a matlab analytics is there if you click on a matlab analytics it will open a um, matlab window and there you can write a code how to process this and how to represent this and automatically continuously data will be keep on coming in the data will be processed according to your requirement and then um, a graph will be generated for example precision precision uh, uh, chart i have to create precision agriculture how the person has did uh, in a activity um, in class which we have seen uh, there also uh, continuous charting means continuous evaluation should be there in that particular type uh, you can do the data processing like that next continuing with the data processing similarly aggregation of a data or uh, general calculation functions may be operated uh, on uh, uh, two or more data streams and mathematical uh, functions applied on their composition 100% uh, how we do a calculations how we can uh, aggregate a data uh, data aggregations we are doing week wise data i want for example overall in the last week uh, at what particular time of a day the wetness is more and uh, 
um, dryness is more and uh, mean wetness is very less and dryness is very uh, less. So if I want to calculate this type of anything, uh, um, so that takes, especially uh, not only in uh, agriculture always, I'm telling in many, many things you can take this, even uh, in a cricket. So cricket is the one where mathematics will be more. Um, that is uh, strike rate of a batsman, that stage, bowler, uh, wickets taking, how he is taking a runs, average runs he has given, overall matches, how he has given, who is that upper, what will be the run rate of that particular team in entire uh, uh, series of that particular team. So automatic calculations, if you want to do, what will be the speed of that particular ball is coming, um, where actually the ball is pitching and uh, uh, how he is swinging that particular uh, uh, ball. See, these are the IoT projects, especially you can do that IoT projects, um, uh, processing that particular videos, um, especially that takes automatically calculating and automatically telling that uh, um, in all this series, for example, so and so XYZ person, uh, he has a bowled uh, a ball in average speed of so and so speed. Uh, always he will bowl in that particular speed only, he will do an outswing and an in swing. Lot of, lot of things. Uh, when you imagine, if you know, um, uh, boys, I think you may know about a cricket, how much mathematics will be there in that. Like that, many projects. I'm, I'm not telling like that. Even in air pollution, a number of projects. So, so there also, if you want, anywhere you want to do a predictions, it means uh, um, gathering of uh, information, so you have to do calculations, you have to do compulsorily. Another example is the transmission of incoming data. That is very much important. What transmission? For example, a string can be converted on a um, uh, fly. Example, temperature values are converted from Fahrenheit to Celsius or Celsius to Fahrenheit, depending on your application. So, repacked in another data model, etc. So, that you can do, depends. So, what data you are getting? No, no, I don't want this type of data. In Celsius, I am getting, no, I need a Fahrenheit data. So then how to convert that? I will put on a formula. Very simple formula is there uh, that um, I will put that into 32 divided by something. That formula is there that we will put. So missing or validate data that is needed for a specific time slot may be forecasted and used until in a future, future interaction. The actual data comes uh, into the system. Um, this is a missing or validate data that is needed for a specific time slot. Uh, yes, I need this type of uh, data at this particular time slot. If that time slot crosses, so I don't need that particular data. This is very much essential. What is this? Uh, in many situations, you can do this particular uh, uh, things and many projects you can apply this particular concept. The actual data comes into the system. This stage deals mostly with the generic operations that can be applied with the aim to enhance them and it takes advantage of uh, a low level um, such as uh, DB stored uh, procedures, functions that can operate under massive levels with the very low overhead network traffic and other uh, limitations. Now, next, this stage deals with mostly with the generic operations. What is this generic operations that can be applied with the aim to enhance them? I need this particular operation I will put. I want to enhance this type of data always in my particular project. So for that, what functions I should apply and how I should make my data to represent in that particular way. Next, continuing with the data remembrance. Now, data remembrance, this is another one important concept. I should remember a data. What data I should remember? Either it's a relevant data I should remember, until what time I should remember. Uh, what time means in a project sense I'm telling this. In my project, I mean, data will be there. Uh, until what time I should keep a data? M2M data may reveal a critical business aspects and hence their life cycle management should include not only the acquisition and usage, but also the end of life of data. Until what time I should keep a data? That is also in a very much important in a business aspects. However, even if the data is arised or removed, uh, um, receipts may still remain in electronic media and may be easily recovered by third parties often uh, uh, referred to as a data uh, remnants. 
so this this is a very damn important thing yesterday what happened uh, by chance uh, with uh, mobile what i did no uh, my contacts everything i am seeing and most duplicated contacts are there in uh, uh, my uh, this one so what i did i selected all the contacts i want to remove a duplicate contacts but i don't have a knowledge much on that uh, i pressed uh, unfortunately delete button so entire my data has been gone means contacts of some 2000 contacts it has been caught i have not even written that contacts what to do yesterday you believe or not that became a good, big headache for me you you know or don't know even myself i don't know to recover that and all i am struggling my son came 10th my son is 10th and he came and that what happened he is saying age dekana i uh, kodili and he has taken my mobile and directly has gone to the settings there in the redmi mi my phone is and he got to the settings and there he has opened uh, exo my um, that uh, cloud something that the screen has opened and there uh, restore uh, recently deleted items he has opened and uh, he has opened that date wise whatever i have deleted all log is there i shocked hey, what is this Uh, which you want uh, first categorize so, uh, contacts it will ask you contacts gallery something like that it will ask you click on an contacts and you can recently how many contacts i have deleted all the log, log is there so see you have deleted these things according to the date um, today you have deleted no today date is so and so you have deleted some 2 to 2 um, to 3000 of your contacts so restore that click on restore that it will come back even myself i don't know that mm-hmm. clearly to say now, like this uh, um, if that technology is not there as you in my uh, now i felt happy uh, that yeah i am you know, what amount i have paid for that mobile it's a worth uh, that i can recover my data sometimes some by chance some my data will go on now year afterwards i can uh, recover that particular things so this is a positive um, active means reference which i have gone to uh, the mobile uh, redmi like that what i just have given an example of a product if you are did a project is like that uh, so that is damn very much important so i assume that you have given your iot project to somebody and they have realized the data whatever is there and again they want the data mm, how you will manage with that particular thing um again you will become a third party here you should give some solutions to that so that that is another thing otherwise you may go with other third party help and you can recover and you can give for m to m points of interest are not only the um, databases where the uh, m to m data is collected but also the points of action which generate the data or the individual nodes in between which may catch so always not only i should concentrate on a database what how much time i should keep the uh, collected data in my device until processing i have written some code until my code as uh, for example master master level or temperature something whatever uh, or mq 135 gas sensor the value came until what time the value should be there in my device so until some time it should be there i need some ram i need some memory there is there catch according to my application catch is enough okay if catch is not enough assume bulk of data is coming and for some time my program should execute it takes some time so then what i should do i need some flash memory i need some other sd memory maybe maybe it depends on your uh, application what you are doing and then you will take that data and um, uh, you will solve that uh, your program should solve that means what is the thing that data remembrance or data storing not only in a database until what time the data should be there in your sensor wise taken data what should device it should be there and in network how much time it should be there this is also a very important thing next uh, the another one very important thing is a data analysis where we will do a predictions after analysis and all we will represent a knowledge frames 
that is data available in our repositories can be subjected to the analysis with the aim to obtain the information uh, they encapsulate and use it for supporting decision making process now i will start my decision making process after predicting uh, i will make some decision process what analysis i did uh, all these days uh, in the morning especially from 6:30 around some 8:30 uh, always a wet condition will be there in my garden and in a evening from uh, starting from some 5:30 or 5 to overall at night the wet condition will be there when the more dry condition will be there in a 12 o'clock uh, in a range of 11:30 to 1:32 a more uh, uh dry condition will be there when it will be there in a summer season or in other seasons uh yes in summer season it will be like that what about in a um, uh, december means in uh, winter seasons what about particular location especially for example winter season in uti side if i are doing this particular project it will be a different thing in uh, gulbarga or raichur if you are doing this particular project then uh, um, it will be a different thing and if you are deploying that project in a bangalore that will be a different thing so that area wise location wise um, so how these factors will vary um, how you should do the analysis and uh, uh, predictions i think you got it what i'm telling if any doubts are there you can uh, interrupt me in by the way the analysis of data at this stage heavily depends on the domain and the context of data 100% so what a domain you are collecting what type of a data you are collecting and what data you have collected based on that i can do your analysis for a, for instance business intelligence tools process the data with a focus on aggregation and uh, key performance indicator assessment yes so that is there uh, this aggregation doing aggregation clustering like that and um, uh, taking all these things into the consideration so key performance indicators we can do and data mining focuses on uh, discovering a knowledge especially data mining we are going to do to discover a knowledge frames that data don't think uh, uh, sir is telling very simple like a story um, uh, if you, you have to feel like this always i am in a data analytic um, as you know if i got a job of data analyst in a company what i should do a bulk of a data will be thrown to you and they will tell you extract this is the knowledge frames from that um, then what code to write and how analysis you should do one of your alumni and my student vikram he used to tell always sir you believe or not in my degrees and mca and all i moved with a mass but now i am studying mass like anything like a kid then i asked why and he told sir i am in a research department where in a data mining or a data senior analyst i am so that mathematics Uh, theorems formulas uh, um, discrete mathematics and uh, some uh, gaussian eliminations this and all is eating my head sir even statistics so how to study all those things so this this discrete mathematics how beautiful it is where it plays a very much important role now you realize see he, 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 he will tell like that every 6 hours 8 hours i study mathematics Uh, then you imagine as a student so what is the importance of a mathematics especially in a computer science not only in this data mining different fields statistics can also be used on a data uh, to access them uh, uh, quantitatively 100% statistics is very much important descriptive statistics find their main characteristics exploratory data analysis confirm a specific uh, hypothesis that is uh, confirmatory uh, data analysis hypothesis data and uh, discover a knowledge finally that is data mining and for a machine learning finally we we'll go with a machine learning so this is a huge thing which you have to keep in your mind now always so now uh, still we'll continue with uh, uh, other thing in the next class so just i'll stop this particular sharing still lot of things is there we must go with a uh, business processing the next is after uh, making all uh, data analysis our thing then we'll go towards our business logics how an iot uh, project will solve the many business related issues 
So that the thing we should concentrate uh, and uh, many business solutions, how it will be given business process of IoT and uh, M2M, we are going to uh, discuss. Now, uh, coming to here, just I want to show you one thing yesterday, time is there, right. So, go back here, sorry, just one, five minutes, yeah, back here. So, that one um, the video I have collected that I want to show to you, just for a second. Uh, one minute. I think everyone got uh, MIT app inventor. Are you getting what I'm telling you? have put in uh, WhatsApp, I think everyone taken that, taken the PDF, answer no, answer no, students, oh, you're not here, Kail Saidi, Yapa, ಹಾಕಿದ್ದೀನಿ <laughs> 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 MIT App Inventor Tutorial and I know everyone. So for app development, especially for IoT projects, for app development, uh, it is damn good. Within one hour, uh, uh, one and a half hour, you can develop an app. Uh, where every blocks will be dropped and uh, drag and drop will be there. Automatically code it will generate. Uh, I think your lab programs also you can do that. That's left to you. But uh, for my projects especially, you can use this particular MIT app inventor, which is very much easy. It will work on internet. Internet is must. So it will work on the internet. Uh, just open that particular um, uh, tool uh, website. You can open that um, and you can create your account and uh, you can start working on that. Just draw and drop things will be there. Uh, even connecting to a hardware, uh, connecting to a cloud, I'm very much uh, uh, easy in that particular sense. Uh, so look into that particular document. Any doubts is there, definitely you ask me. Especially now you are in a second stage of your project that will help a lot to you to make an uh, app and all. I told no, within one day you can create an app perfectly if you study that particular things. Any doubts is there regarding your projects or class and all, don't be silent like this. Discuss. Any doubts is there? I see Amruta, she has solved her problem. Why? Because she continuously she communicated with me and I have given a reference number. Um, uh, Sahadev, Sahadev, are you there here in class? Sahadev? Sahadev? Sahadev is not there. Check it. Sahadev is not there. No, sir. No, sir. Mm -hmm. Anybody? Uh, his partners, his project partner? Yes, sir. You, you are there, Ma? Yes, sir. Ah, Sima. Right. Sima, what happened? Your problem solved, Sima? Not yet, sir. Uh, do one thing, Seema. Amruta has uh, solved the same problem. Biometric problem she has solved. Uh, I think she has communicated with you? Yes, sir. Uh, I, I will give you the number of that person. Means uh, Chandrakan sir number. Uh, so you call, otherwise you take number from Amruta only. You call to him, you tell whatever a problem is there. I will also be with online with him. I will also call him. I think uh, Saturday, tomorrow we will be free, Saturday and Sundays. I will also call him. Within Saturday and Sunday, you solve that problem. Seema? Okay, sir. Huh? Uh, 
uh, got it yes sir yeah uh, so i will send the number uh, to sahadev tell him huh? uh, next any other projects doubt is there quick so i think no no doubts means he will do the project that is very much important yeah answer your attendance here yeah. Aditya, same sir. Ajay, sir. Amit, Ajay sir. Kal class ko kyun aaya hai? You're not attending class. Huh? Because I am busy sir yesterday because festival sir today na I'm marketing sir. Okay ma. Um, Antima, present sir. Apurva, present sir. Ashwini, yes sir. Bindu, Bindu, nenne mona yathma attenda kela Bindu. Sir, sorry, sir. Sorry, sir. Divyesh, Gaurish, yes sir. Gautami, Gautami. Ilva? Present, sir. Ah, idiya ma. Kunashekar? Present, sir. Harini? Present, sir. Hi, sir. Hi, sir. Hi, sir. Surya? Present, sir. Your project do you have to use it? Not at all. Yes, sir. Not at all. Naina? Present, sir. Nazma? प्रीति Present so. Uh, Sahadev. No. Saket. Saket. Absent. Present so. Santosh. Saket hai. Okay, okay. I am given. I am given. Saket. Santosh. Yes, sir. Hey, you know, classic bar Allah. Huh? Ah? You know, give me a name. Santosh. स्फूर्ति यशस्विनी Present, sir. Amrita. Amrita. Present, sir. Ah, Anusha. Present, sir. Apurva. Present, sir. Ah, uh, Sai Siddharth. Yes, sir. Okay, pa. Kavya. Present, sir. So Chetna. Is Chetna kar de na ma? Sorry, Chetna. Kavya. Present, sir. Kavya. Present. Okay. Present, sir. Yeah, come here, please. Madhusri. Present, sir. And uh, Manish. Manish is not there. Manish. No. Sa uh, sir Faraj. Present, sir. Murugesh. Present, sir. Mani. Present, sir. Faresh. Parish, idhar ala atte non. Parish, idhar ta napa. Surya, lutila sir. Idhar ala malak putir ta. Pooja, present sir. Prashant, present sir. 
प्रतिभा प्रतीक साधक सर प्रतीक तनोज तेजस्वी आशीष विद्या विशाल विशाल ओके ओके थैंक यू वेरी मच दैट वीडियो ऑल आई विल शो यू नेक्स्ट